Hey guys, Gilles here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And as you can see, I have subtitles right here, but what if I told you that I actually didn't create these manually? Nope, these subtitles were auto-generated by one of the newest Premiere features. But first, let me show you how we currently can add captions to our videos. We're going to the project panel and from the bottom right, we go over to the new item icon and select captions. This will open up the captions menu. Wow. There are two types of captions or subtitles, open and closed. Now what's the difference? Well, closed captions, which are the CEA types, are captions that aren't baked into your videos. So you can give the user the ability to enable or disable the subtitles or change the language. While open captions are baked into your video, so you can disable them. Now let's take some open captions, hit OK and BAM! They are dropped into our timeline. We can make them as long or as short as possible. Now let's go to the top window menu and look for the captions menu. BAM! There it is. And what do we have right here? A text field and an in and out timecode. What? Now this timecode can change when you go to the timeline and trim the caption itself. Super useful. In the text field, you can type the sentence that you're saying and ta-da, we have subtitles that look kinda crap. So let's style it. This can also be done from the captions menu. We can change the text size, the font, the color, the position, wow, everything. But this is just one sentence. So if you want to add another one, I would have to go over to that plus icon, have a listen to my video, type my text, make it the proper length, and keep on repeating this super exhausting thing the entire time. Boring! So let's make it exciting now, because Adobe has a new feature. An AI speech-to-text generator, which is currently available in the closed beta version, where you needed to be invited to. Luckily, we were invited to that party, so we already have that access to that closed beta. So let me show you how to get it once it's also available for the public beta. Open up the Adobe Creative Cloud program, go over to Beta Apps, and download Premiere Pro Beta. Like I said, your beta version will not have this function yet, but it will in the future. Okay, so let's see what it does. I have the intro of this video right here in the timeline, so go over to the window menu and select the text panel. Then select the layer in your timeline and head over to the transcript subpanel. Select create transcription and a new menu will pop up. Choose the audio analysis option, which can be either all the audio that you marked as dialogue from the essential sound panel or select audio on track. Now, since all my audio is on the same track, I'm going to select that one. Next, choose your language. I spoke English, so let's leave it as it is. Now the checkboxes, I'm going to leave unchecked and I'm going to hit transcribe. Now you will see that Premiere is creating a complete transcript from the speech. And this takes a while, but it's actually way faster than I expected. So once that's done, you will see the entire transcript with a timecode. Now on the left you see the speaker, so it even recognizes multiple speakers if needed. And here you can also name these speakers. I'm now going to double click on the text because I see a couple of mistakes, which is logical because my pronunciation isn't perfect and sometimes it doesn't put a point or comma on the right position. So let's adjust those tiny details and once that's done, hit the create captions button. Now I'm going to select the subtitle format, which is an open caption. And from the style dropdown, you can choose a style if you have created them in the past. Now hit OK and you'll see a new track appearing on top of the video tracks. This is the captions track. Now in the text panel, you will also see another sub panel which says captions. And it also has the exact time codes. Awesome, right? Now let's style this. I'm going to select the entire track in the timeline and open up the essential graphics panel from the window menu. Then I'm going to align it to the center bottom part of the screen and change the font, its size and the color. Now you can change this to your likings of course. And a cool detail here is that whenever you change the font size, Premiere will automatically change the spacing of the sentences in the text field. So a sentence that's too long will be cut so that it appears above each other on screen. Now I love this because I don't have to think about all of those details and I don't have to make those stupid tiny adjustments each time. So now I have made a new style, which I can save by going to the track style dropdown and hit create style. Awesome! Now I do have to mention one thing though. If you work with styles, you will need to bake these subtitles into your video. Why is that? Well, let me get a bit technical for a second. 
If you want to create captions that people or possible clients can alter, you will need to export with an SRT file or another type of file, but SRT is mostly used. Now this file contains the text and time codes and can be changed by clients easily to create translations for example. These files can also be used to upload together with your video to for example YouTube. Now as you know, you can select multiple languages on YouTube captions, but you can change their style. YouTube does that for you. So if you work with closed captions, you don't have to style anything. But if you want them to bake into your video, you can do whatever you want with your styling. Now, a good thing about the new Adobe feature is that it gives you a whole new subtitle track and you can actually stack tracks above it, just like with video layers. So for example, when someone translates my SRT file to Dutch, I can easily import it, drag it to the timeline, and it will appear above my English subtitles. And it will also be visible and turn the other one invisible. Super useful if you ask me. Okay, now from the timeline, let's hit Ctrl M, which brings us to the export menu. Of course, make sure to set the settings to your likings for the video, but before exporting, go over to the captions menu. Select whether you want to burn these into your video or if you want to make a sidecar file, like for example, an SRT file. And that's how you do it, guys. Now, if you want to get a bit more detailed and have a little bit more technical information, Jordi explains it very well in his advanced Premiere Pro class on Skillshare, which there is a link to in the description down below. Through that link, you will get two weeks of free access to Skillshare, so I highly recommend it because that advanced Premiere class is really a must-watch class. Now, of course, you will also get access to the thousands of other available classes on Skillshare. So, hit that link in the description below I'll see you guys next week for a new live stream and a new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.